think you'll find that nurses actually have an opportunity to be involved in research at any level. So for someone like me, we've decided to pursue a PhD in nursing. So that way you're really someone who's leading research and creating studies, getting funding for studies and being the one executing research, which is your traditional path and pretty arduous to get your PhD and to start down, whether it's an academic route or working within a company as a nurse researcher. Whatever the case, you can pursue that path, in which case you can look at academic institutions that have PhD programs for nursing. Um, but even if you're in clinical practice, there are opportunities to get involved in research or at least quality improvement. So research we think of as something that has implications broadly, not just for the place that you're working or one specific cancer unit, but could be broadly applicable in the United States or even around the world. And quality improvement projects, while technically perhaps not research, are still a systematic way to make sure that we're providing evidence-based care to patients. So if you're thinking about the academic route, pursuing a PhD or a master's in science is a wonderful way to make sure you have the skills to be leading research. And if you're more clinically based, then I would say getting involved in existing research studies that are at your institution as a consultant or an expert in a specific field or patient population, and even leading quality improvement projects are ways that we see nurses involved in research every day and probably more um, directly applicable to clinical oncology nursing. So this is an area of passion for me. When I was pursuing my nursing degree, I kept asking, well, why would we be doing it this way? And on the clinical floors as a student nurse, it's like, well, why are we you know, addressing patients' needs with this? Why don't we do that? And it was really those asking um, questions about why and looking for where's the evidence for why is this the best way to treat patients that inspired me for myself to become a researcher and get a PhD and choose that route, which I admit is not the route for everyone, but uh, the group of nurse researchers that are out there are a committed, very inquisitive group of people trying to make evidence-based treatment recommendations for patients and families and caregivers affected by cancer. So um, I would say that the appreciation for research comes when we're trying to find out where is the evidence for why uh, nurses in oncology do what they do in a clinical setting? And even more so when you're looking for how do we improve on standard of care? What interventions may be better than what we're delivering right now? Well, that requires investigating a new treatment versus an existing treatment. And not necessarily for a therapeutic drug, but even a behavioral intervention so our research, my research team is uh, very interested in improving patient outcomes, teaching patients how to advocate for their needs. And we developed a program, an intervention to see, does teaching patients these specific skills improve their quality of life, their symptom burden, and how they navigate the healthcare system compared to if we just let patients um, be diagnosed with cancer and get maybe uh, general patient education that's not equipping them with those skills. So interventions like that, that really allow us to improve upon care is an area for research and quality improvement that is within the realm of what oncology nurses do, which is improve the sort of uh, holistic view of what it means to be a patient and a family affected by cancer. It can be really daunting because I think as most undergraduate or associate degree nurses, we're not shown what does it mean to get involved in research or to even know nurse researchers since amongst the entire population of active nurses, the 
number of PhD prepared nurses is extremely small. So we're not always exposed. I think uh, the first questions to ask are uh, what patient population or what clinical problem am I most interested in? It doesn't have to be super specific, but broad enough to say, here's generally where I want to spend my energy to get involved in research. And very quickly, I would say finding a nurse scientist mentor is the key. So when I was thinking about pursuing a research program, I found a, a wonderful nurse researcher who was both my academic mentor and shepherded me throughout my dissertation process. And now I'm lucky enough to collaborate with her and work with her on a daily basis. And she really is what sparked my interest and kept me curious and energized about research. And so much of the research process is collaboration and working with other investigators, smart, dedicated people who want to improve patients' lives. And even if their topic isn't exactly what you want to pursue as a nurse researcher, they can teach you that those skill sets that no matter what your research question is, you need to be a good researcher, good quantitative methods, good ways of presenting research to patients, um, the most robust ways to make sure your grants get funded and published in peer-reviewed journals. So um, over and above the specific programs or institutions, which may have great names, I think it's really about the people in finding a good uh, main person and other supportive people who are going to keep you interested and passionate about your research. Well, I'll first say that when I decided to get my PhD, I think it was somewhat odd that I was on the younger side at the time and pursuing a research degree. Most people expected that you should be in clinical practice for you know, so many years before even thinking of applying to a PhD program or starting your own program of research. And at the time, I believed that myself, and I always wanted to become a researcher. But I think unwritten in my nursing education was the idea that you should wait until you're, you know, a veteran and understand clinical practice, and then you can go back and get your PhD and um, and teach and do research, but you have to sort of put that time in first. And my mentors at the time said, well, actually things are changing. And we know that from the time that a research study is published until it goes into clinical practice can be year, years, if not dec decades. So as a nurse researcher, in order to have the most impact in patient care with your research, you really need to dedicate your, your career to being a researcher. And so that's what I did. And very quickly after getting my nursing degree, got my research degree, my PhD. And so I think the first message is if you're interested in research, then start pursuing it and don't put it off um, and think that this is something that you need later on in life. The second thing I would say is if you're curious about research, try to get involved in more low stakes way that don't require you to stop working and join a PhD program. But within your clinical setting or within your group, try to figure out what projects, whether they're research projects or quality improvement projects, or even just groups of people who are reviewing the evidence around different cancer treatments for your unit, get involved. And I think starting that track record and building small, doing something that's based in your hospital to something that's done more broadly, and then getting involved in your professional organization, like the Oncology Nursing Society, is a fantastic way to build up those skills, start to find out who your other collaborators could be and teach you um, sort of without maybe the, the intensity of a PhD program, how research gets done 
and how good quality research can improve evidence-based oncology nursing. I think the only other thing is that um, sometimes reading research, I know that one of my jobs for cancer nursing today is sort of to translate the new newest, latest research for readers on the website. And I would encourage people to go on to some of the um, wonderful journals that we have. So Oncology Nursing Forum is the journal for the Oncology Nursing Society research side. And the Clinical Journal of Oncology Nursing, or CJON, has very clinically based research articles. There's Cancer Nursing, which really has um, a international readership and publishes a lot of international um, oncology nurse research. And even just going on their websites and reading the abstracts of the research going on, I don't think nurses realize how much nursing scholarship there is around improving patients' quality of life and more nurse-centered ways of uh, addressing the needs of our populations. Um, so I would encourage people to, to just see what's out there for your own benefit and just out of curiosity about what your research counterparts are interested and involved with.